You're watching Disney Junior on YouTube. Mission Control to Art Attack Rocket. The countdown is about to begin. Engines ready and prepare for liftoff in five, four, three, two, one. Actually, wait. No, we can't launch yet. We're not ready because first I need to show you how to design your very own rocket. Now, when it comes to designing your own rocket, the first thing that you need is some thin card like this and half a kitchen roll tube that's cut down the middle. And now you're ready to start. Roll the cardboard tube so that the edges overlap a bit and take them into place. At one end, draw two little Vs, one here, and then turn the roll to draw the second one. Now cut them out carefully. These Vs will be where you hook the rubber band later on. Then, on a small piece of cereal box card, draw two small rocket wings. You can do any shape you like. Take care cutting them out, and then take them just above each of the Vs. Next, you need to make a cone shape for the rocket point. One way to do this is to measure twice the width of the tube onto a strip of card. Once, twice. Then draw a semicircle a bit like a sunset, with the same width as the second mark you just made. Perfect. Carefully cut this shape out. Then fold it round and tape the edges together to make this a cone shape that will sit on top of your rocket. Then, tape this into place. Great! Everything is taking shape. To make it super strong, paste on PVA glue mixed with a little water and stick on bits of newspaper. You should paper mache over the whole of your rocket. When it's all covered, leave it to dry. And when it's dried, your rocket will be nice and strong. Great! So now it's ready for liftoff flight and landing. Fantastic. Now we need to build our launch pad. And for this, you need to recycle an old shoe box. Take a look at this. Take the lid off and turn the box on its side. Using a ruler, draw a diagonal line on one of the long sides, from here to here. You'll need to get someone to cut this part out, and also this end here. On the other long side, draw another diagonal line and you'll need to cut here. And when it has been cut out, you'll have this shape. This will become your rocket launch pad. Now mark a dot on each side, here and also here. Now you need to make two holes where those dots were drawn, on either side, here and here. So, now we should have our launch pad and our rocket. But they look a bit plain at the moment, so it's time to grab your paints and pens to paint. It's a good idea to draw on your design first. You can do some line details. And don't forget the important things, such as the window and the rocket boosters. Then paint it with your favourite colours. This rocket has blue for the window. Yellow for these details. And a bright orange colour for the rest. You can use any colours you like. When you finish painting everything and the paint has dried, you can add all sorts of details, like this space logo here on our launch pad and on our rocket. And you can also outline things in black pen and add some extra shading around our shapes. Now the rocket and launch pad look amazing, don't they? Next, we need to get ready for liftoff. So, you need to cut a rubber band, making a tip at the end, like this. Then, when you thread it through, you need to tie a knot at this end and then pull it through so it's nice and tight. Take that all the way over to your other side and then place it in that hole. Once that's done, it will look like this. Excellent! Now make sure the rubber band is quite tight. That way your rocket is ready to launch. OK. Five, four, Three, two, one, two! Amazing. Now 
click left or right for more great shows or subscribe to keep up to date with the latest Disney Junior YouTube clips.